The New York Knicks are currently fighting for playoff seating. And what could really help them right now is getting some returning injured players back. I'm talking about OG Ananobi, but especially our three-time all-star power forward in Julius Randle. Unfortunately for Knicks fans, the latest update about Julius Randle remains unchanged from what it was last week, the week before that, and the week before that. He's taken control contact, but he has not been cleared yet by the medical staff to take full contact. And recently, head coach of the New York Knicks, Tom Thibodeau, he sat down with the media, and in my opinion, he gave one of the most detailed updates about Randall and why he can't return yet for the New York Knicks. We're going to break down exactly what Tom Thibodeau said and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Tom Thibodeau provides a major update on Julius Randle and why he hasn't returned yet for the New York Knicks. Randle has been out for the Knicks since January 27th with that dislocated shoulder. And each and every time we look up at the injury report, it remains the same. The updates on Randle remain vague, but the same. He's taking controlled contact, but the medical staff doesn't feel comfortable enough yet to clear him for full contact. But here's the thing. Why don't they feel comfortable enough yet? Why hasn't he moved on to the next major step in recovery, which is taking full contact? Well, recently, head coach of the Knicks, Tom Thibodeau, sat down with the New York Post, Steph Bondi, and he gave us a lot of information about Randall and why he hasn't returned yet for the New York Knicks. And it all sounds like it's about confidence. Confidence in Randall that he can take contact with that shoulder and not be in pain and can play through it. Let's see exactly what Thibodeau stated to Bondi. According to Bondi, Thibodeau was his most expansive yet on the biggest hurdle Julius Randle needs to clear before playing again, saying the power forward isn't yet confident enough in his injured shoulder while expressing hope, though not quite optimism, that the All-Star will play soon. This is exactly what Tom Thibodeau told Steph Bondi. The thing for Randle is that he's got to keep working every day until he gets to the point where he feels confident that he can take contact that he's accustomed to. When you look at his game and the way he plays, you don't want him to change his style of play. And I think that's important. And so you keep doing what you're doing. You have to have a belief that it will turn, which I do. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's the next day. Who knows when it is? Thibodeau continues by stating, work out, do your rehab, try to strengthen your shoulder as much as possible, and you can go from there. Bondi also noted that one person he spoke to in the know gave him the following explanation on why Julius Randle hasn't returned for the New York Knicks yet. According to Bondi, one explanation I've heard, which seems perfectly reasonable, is the high risk of re-injury with the dislocated shoulders, which has left the Knicks prioritizing strengthening the area before the playoffs and believing fewer games is better for Randle. In other words, there's less chance of hurting his shoulder. Shout out to Steph Bondi and head coach Tom Thibodeau for giving us the following updates about Julius Randle. These updates make one thing very clear. It's not only the medical staff holding Julius Randle back. It seems to an extent Julius Randle himself is holding himself back as well because it's a confidence factor. If we go back to exactly what Tom Thibodeau stated, the thing for Randle is that he's got to keep working every day until he gets to the point where he feels confident that he can take the contact that he's accustomed to. What that update tells me is that the medical staff and Julius Randle both feel that after he takes controlled contact and he takes a hit to that shoulder, he's either in too much pain or he doesn't feel right after taking the contact. That's why he hasn't moved on to full contact yet. And I know there was a rumor or a report out there a couple of weeks ago saying Randle was pushing to come back. I think that's true. But I also think for the longevity of his career, the medical staff and Julius Randle himself don't want to rush himself back, especially if he doesn't feel right after taking contact. It doesn't make sense to do that because he's going to be half of the Julius Randle that he was before going down with that injury. And in my opinion, having half of a Julius Randle out there is going to hurt you more than it's going to help you, especially if he has to alter his game or change his game because he can't take contact with that shoulder anymore. I think I've said it a couple of times. But Julius Randle's game, 
He normally drops that shoulder, pushes it out there, takes contact, creates space with it, and then gets a shot off. That's been Julius Randle's game all year. He's been a bully all year. You want him to continue being that bully because bully Julius Randle is going to be what's most effective for this Knicks team. It's exactly what this Knicks team needs because when he's down low and he's being bully Randle, he's drawing two, three defenders. That means the wings, the perimeter, it's all open. And now we have the shooters on the team to make other teams pay. That's why Julius Randle needs to be fully healthy when he comes back for this Knicks team because his natural game is going to help this Knicks team go very deep in the playoffs. But he needs to be fully healthy. But from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound like he is because the Knicks and the medical staff are not confident enough in his game to move him on to the next step of full contact because if they were, they would have done so a couple of weeks ago. But they haven't because the last few weeks, Nothing has changed with Randall and that confidence level in terms of taking contact and playing through it like he's accustomed to. And that's an update directly from head coach Tom Thibodeau. So we have to believe it. Something else he said, and for me, this was another major part of the report. He mentioned that the New York Knicks do not want Randall to come back and change his game or alter his game. That means they know without a doubt Randall shooting a thousand threes a game is not the right recipe for success for this current Knicks team. They need Randall to come back and play his old game that he was playing before he got injured. Bully ball Randall. Sure, he can shoot some threes if he's open. But other than that, he's driving down low. He's taking contact. He's getting to the line or he's taking contact, creating space and getting off a quality shot. Bully ball Randall has been the best Randall I've ever seen him in his entire career. Playing that way has helped him get another all-star bid. Playing that way for a healthy Knicks team, if you guys remember January, we were running through teams. Julius Randle was a big part of that. So we have to remember, Julius cannot change his game much. He has to play that game that we've all seen and we've all grown accustomed to. If he changes it, even just a little bit, it's going to hurt the Knicks, in my opinion. It's not going to help them come the postseason. And if you were wondering what head coach Tom Thibodeau had to say about OG Ananobi, he said the following, not only about OG, but about Randle too. I think you just have to deal with reality. We've been dealing with this all year. Our reality is we have to go with the guys that are available. And if we get them back, speaking about Ananobi and Randall, then it's a bonus. After hearing that, it seems to be clear. The New York Knicks and their focus is who they have right now, next man up mentality, and who's available currently for this roster. Everybody else who could become available. It's nice to hear. Obviously, you hope you get them back, but you don't want to continue to build your roster around hope and prayers. You want to make sure you build your roster around who you have. So I can completely understand why Tom Thibodeau said this, why even Josh Hart said this a couple of nights ago. That's the right mindset to move forward with. That's the mindset you have to move forward with, given the current situation and the players you have on your roster. This Knicks team is trying their best to float by win games, and do so without their best players being available in OG Ananobi and Julius Randle. And they're still trying to do this with Isaiah Hartenstein on a minutes restriction. Mitchell Robinson just coming back on a minutes restriction. We have to understand, even though the Knicks are starting to get healthy, there are still so many steps after that. Once the Knicks get healthy, they have to build chemistry. Building chemistry takes time, especially when you're building chemistry with new players. Mitchell Robinson never played with Alec Burks this year. They didn't play with Bojan Bogdanovic. He has to start incorporating his game with those guys. Same thing with OG Ananobi. Julius Randle, same thing. You have to build up chemistry. Not only that, but you have to get your game back underneath you. That takes a couple of games. And if you're doing that in the postseason, it's going to hurt your team and what you're looking to build in the playoffs. And that's just a fact. I wish it was different. I wish it wasn't the case like that. But you just can't come back and have that immediate instant impact. I know OG Ananobi did that with his defense, but Julius Randle affects the game a lot differently. So that likely means he's going to need a couple of games to get that wind underneath him and get his game back. We remember when he was coming off of that ankle surgery to start the season, he needed a few games to look like the regular Julius Randle. In this situation, he didn't get shoulder surgery on that dislocated shoulder. So because of that, we don't know how he's going to look and how many games he's going to need to look like the same old Julius Randle. And if he's going to look like that Randle when he returns or not. Those are all question marks that are left up in the air. I know some fans are up and down on Julius Randle. I see you guys in the comments. Some of you guys are in favor of him coming back. Some of you guys don't want him back. Listen, for me, 
I think it's pretty clear. And I think I got to say this. Julius Randle is a major piece for this Knicks team. The Knicks do absolutely need him back. They need him back if they want to make a deep postseason run. But they need a healthy Julius Randle back. If they can't get a healthy Julius Randle back, and if he comes back and he returns for the Knicks, and he's going to hurt us more than he's going to help us, then I think it's up to Tom Thibodeau and the coaching staff to hold him back and say, you know what? We respect you. We respect your loyalty. And we love the fact you want to come back. But we think if you come back and you're not able to play your regular game, you're going to hurt us more than you're going to help us. So I think with that in mind, I think you should go ahead and get the surgery. Make sure you're 110% ready for training camp and the offseason. And let us try to handle this situation without you. Just try to do it without you for this year. We don't want to do it this way because obviously we understand how impactful you are. But given the situation, given where you are in rehab, I think this is the best course of action. I think that's the direction that the New York Knicks may need to go in if Julius Randle and this situation with the shoulder doesn't improve or doesn't change over the next couple of weeks. He does have a couple of weeks left, but a couple of weeks is really all he has left. After that, it's the postseason. And if you're still working things out in the postseason, it's likely you're not going to return. Or if you return, you're not going to have that same impact that the New York Knicks need at that point in time to help this Knicks team move forward in the postseason. But what about you guys? What do you think about Tom Thibodeau's comments about Julius Randle and the reason he hasn't returned yet for the New York Knicks? That reason being that he has to gain confidence with taking contact in that shoulder before he can return. Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, Go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment below, and of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.